Okay, in this video I want to show you what spider mite damage looks like. And there are a few other critters that actually cause this kind of damage. It's not just spider mites, but most of the time it is spider mites. So, what we're looking at here is damage from spider mites or trips, or thrips I believe they're called. And But these aren't thrips because I already looked at them inside of a microscope. So they're not thrips. But you can see the type of damage they leave. Anytime you see this kind of damage, this profile and damage, you see the leaf? Okay, anytime you see stuff like that on your leaves, that is a 90% chance that it is spider mites. Problem is, is you can't see them because they are so tiny, you can't see them with the naked eye. They are absolutely microscopic. Now, I will try to zoom you up on what you already have here. Now, these leaves are sprayed, so you may not see them on these leaves. I did spray them with hydrogen peroxide. That supposedly kills them. But we'll look under a microscope, and we'll see if they're still on here. Okay, over here, I think I could see something right there. It's very hard to see with the naked eye. Believe me when I tell you. But that's what spider mite damage looks like. So let's take a walk over to here. And let's see if we can see in here. And I can't see in here because the sun is so bright all of a sudden. I cannot see. Let me see if I can find any. They're in there. They're on there. You just can't see them. They're so tiny. A lot of that stuff that looks like black pepper on there, a lot of those are mites. But I have a few different kinds in here. I have some red ones. I had some other types. Uh, they don't like to be in the direct sunlight. So because I pulled that leaf off, Let me see if I can see in here. I want to try to get some of the There are a couple of red ones, it's like over here, where the end of my finger is. That might be a thrip. Let's see, can you see that? It's very hard to do this with even two hands. You really need a cameraman, which I don't have a cameraman to do this, but. Like over here. These could be thrips on here. Yeah, I think those were thrips. Those little, they're like little tiny. Sometimes, see like right there? You see them, they almost look like they're moving around like a little tiny worm. They're on there. It's very hard to try to do this with a, a handheld camera and me holding it and trying to film it through a magnifying glass. It's just very, very difficult. And these things are pretty much, the, thri the, tr the thrips are pretty much the same color as like the damage on the leaf. Like you could see like that. They're, they, it's very hard to see them on that. Whereas the spider mites are sometimes, they are... Uh, red or they're kind of like clear with like an orange color to it and or you may even have what's known as scales which is another type of creature that causes the same damage again these are very microscopic creatures that you can't see by eye but if you can see the damage you know you have the problem and the longer you leave this problem go the worse it's going to get and believe me these things will spread over your entire greenhouse I've had a spider mite damage uh, problem once before, and I let it go, and it virtually, so you can see right in there, just as I, trying to, trying to,
trying to get you on there. You look really close, you'll see them. There's one right there at the end of my finger, right there. See him moving around? See that thing? That's a thrip. That's not a spider mite. I want to show you a spider mite. I, I mean, for me to try to give you a good view of what a thrip looks like would be almost impossible with the setup that I'm doing right now. I'd have to literally go to like maybe a 10 times microscope at, at minimum to be able to show you a good view of what they look like. Unfortunately, I'm not set up to be able to do that and I don't have a microscope at the moment. I am planning on getting a microscope though. And I do plan on doing um, tests on the fungi that I have to find out exactly what kind of fungi. Now that's a thrip. I don't know if I'm getting this on camera, but you can see that thing moving around there. If you just look in the middle of that lens, he ran off the thing. They're pretty fast. They actually move a lot faster than, than you think. Just because they're tiny doesn't mean that they can't cover ground. There are thrips on here. Now, it's not, I don't see millions of them, so that's actually a good sign. I can actually spray these down with neem oil and that'll control it. Now you can use neem oil or you can use hydrogen peroxide. I've read that that works pretty good. Does no damage to the leaves, the hydrogen peroxide. But the uh, the neem oil uh, is probably more effective because it's a coating and they won't, they don't want to eat through that coating. I'm trying to give you a good look at the surface of this now. Now those little specks, those could be the spider mites right there. Those little black little specks, it looks like pepper. Those could be the spider mites. Those are really tiny. Uh, thrips, at least you can see them. They almost look like little maggots. If you look at them really close on a microscope, they kind of look like a earwig a little bit, but not quite with the forked tail and all that stuff. I think here's something right here. There's something right there that might be a spider mite. Trying to get a couple of the red ones. So, what people look for when they look for spider mites is they generally look for the webbing that they sometimes see associated with spider mites. And unless you have a, a, a severe outbreak, you're never going to see that webbing that comes off them. But with thrips, it, you won't see any webbing. So, this looks to me like a lot of it is thrip damage, actually. But I know there's spider mites because I had pulled the leaf off and examined it a lot earlier. And I seen spider mites on there walking. It was either, it was either spider mites or scales. And scales are basically another type of creature that looks basically just like a spider mite. It's just a different creature altogether. But they could, it does, you don't have to be that concerned about whether it's a spider mite or a thrip or all the, as long as if you apply neem oil to it you're going to pretty much get it you're going to it's going to kill all of those creatures let me see if i get a leaf in here Now, I did spray these, so you probably ain't going to see a lot of them, because they do disappear after a while. Once you spray them and you kill them off. And this leaf had nothing on it. And like I say, it has these uh, little tiny black pepper spots. Those could very much be the spider mites. Those could be one of the varieties. Or the scales, because scales are... Those things are black, too. Let now, it's hard. To, you got to find them. Now, again, I sprayed them, so it looks like I killed a good bunch of them. But I'm going to spray them again with... I sprayed them with hydrogen peroxide, and that seemed to work pretty good. But I want to give them a coating of neem oil. Because the neem oil, see on here? I'm hoping my camera's picking this up. You see all that black pepper on there? Those look like either scales or spider mites. In this particular case, I 
Oh, I can't I can't find them now. They're on there though. It's just not real bad yet. Is probably what it is. Another way they tell you you can deal with them is to, you know, spray it down with your hose. If you keep washing them off with the hose, they really can't get a foothold on your plants. But the problem with doing that is, is you start to get the fungi and the mite. And the, uh, you start to get the fungus and the, and the mold and all that stuff. So, but these little things are basically all over my plants, everywhere. And soon to be, once they get around and they start multiplying, they will wipe this crop completely out. Yes, spider mite damage can virtually... Now, this isn't spider mite damage. I don't know what this is. This is some either some kind of mold that specifically... It's a leaf mold that specifically affects this particular species of plant. But it doesn't get on anything else. I don't know what it is. It's done that since day one. But I'm looking for spider mites for you guys so you can see what spider mites look like. I mean, this is some of this stuff virtually popped up overnight. Now, here's something. Now, that's not a... This isn't a... Uh, okay. I don't know if you can see this. Because I can't see what you see. I mean, the sun completely blinds my vision. You see that black thing in the middle? Now that's not a spider mite. That could be just a scale. Usually the scales are a little smaller. I don't know what this thing is. That's a scale. See if I if I didn't ha wasn't holding the camera, I'd be able to. A scale. It looks like a. Uh, like a half of a turtle shell and it sticks to the, it looks like a barnacle or, or, you know, and it just sticks to the leaf and they suck all the juice out from the bottom of them. So I, I just found a scale on there. But this video is supposed to be about spider mites. And, I tr and I'm trying to find one that I can actually show you. The only thing I could think of on here that's actually the spider mite itself is this black pepper. Right there, there's one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You see him walking around? He's black shelled. He looks like he's got legs like a little black spider. Hopefully you can see him moving right at the end of my fingertip. That little black dot, he's walking around. That's him. That's what. That's what's causing this damage. Let me see what this is. I have thrips. Thri I have thrips, spider mites, and scales on these plants. Like I say, in order to treat those, you can just use a concoction, a mix of... I What I do to make my hydrogen peroxide mix is I put one cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide in two gallons of water, and I use that as a surface spray. What I'll try and do for you is I have a little mix right here with hydrogen peroxide. Let's see if we can find that little mite and see what it does to him. There he is. He's right there. He's right there crawling around. Let's see what the hydrogen peroxide did to him. You see him? Let's see. Let's get you on. The... You see him right in the middle? Right there. That little dye. I just sprayed him with hydrogen peroxide. I'm curious to see if he drops dead on camera. There's a thrip right there. And he just got sprayed down. There on the, that thing's a large scale. I guess they get to like mother size and then they probably multiply. But that spider mite has stopped in his tracks. He ain't moving. I think from what I've read, it kills it on contact. And it, the same thing with thrips. And the same thing with scales. It just it, it eats their skin or something. Now this particular one, you can see him right there. That little black dot. 
Those those other black dots, I don't know. That could be the estimates. But that thing right there, that's a thrip. That little looks like a little microscopic grain of rice. That's a thrip. I'm actually going to name this video Spider Mites, Strips, and Scales and Damage. I, I can't just say Spider Mites because there, there's all three of them on here, which I didn't realize at the time when I first was going to make the video. So now we'll, we'll call it Spider Mites, Strips, and they don't like the sunlight. I put them in the sunlight, they scramble. Let's see what we got in here. What kind of little buggers we got in here. It's like they do the damage and they run off. They're not totally taking out the leaf. This one almost... Oh, okay, right here. Maybe there's some spider mites right there. Okay, there you go. Right there on the end of that leaf. Right there. I'm trying to get the camera angle right. It's hard to do both of these things at once, guys. Got to have patience with me. Right there. If you could see that, those things right there are spider mites. Beautiful example. I wish I could get 20 times magnification. I'd really be able to give you some beautiful shots of these things. And basically, it's what you do. And when it's as soon as I sprayed it, they got blown off the leaf. So that's why they tell you. To spray your plants down. They say that just if you spray the leaves down, it knocks them off the thing. It kills them. They're very, these things are very sensitive. So, anyway, looks like we might have one there. See right there? The end of my finger? I think that might be one. I don't know. That might be something else. I'm getting a lot of other stuff falling down. But they're climbing their way up to the top of... That might be a scale right there. That's something on there. They're not really bothering the bottom of the leaf. They're all getting on the surface of the leaf. Here's something. No, it's just dirt. I don't know how dirt's getting up here. Like I told you, I sprayed these leaves pretty good. So it really probably killed off a lot of them. But it just takes, it's instant contact. It kills them from what I've read. I don't know, there's still a lot of black stuff on there. That could be spider mites. Now, spider mites can range from like, a, a, you know, a thousandth of a millimeter or a ten thousandth of a millimeter. I mean, you're talking microscopic stuff here. You can't normally pick them up with this, but they can get pretty big where you can actually pick them up with a magnifying glass. So they can get some size to them. I see like colonies of stuff on here, but generally that's what you're gonna see as far as the damage goes. You're going to see, your leaves are going to look like this, you know. You're going to get this kind. When you see that on there, it could be any one of the three. It can be thrips, spider mites, or scales. It, and there's probably other creatures too, but those are the three that I know of. And I have positively identified these, these three creatures on in my greenhouse and on my plants. Sometimes it's all three. Sometimes it's just one or two, you know. You know, so look at this thing. I don't know what that is. You see that? See, I'm not going to know what you see in the camera. I have no idea. But anyway, if you do see this problem, you can use your neem oil to spray them down. You know, put a spray on your leaves with using the neem oil mixes. Or you can go with, like I use, the hydrogen peroxide, and it does virtually no damage to the leaves. And it wipes them out instantaneously. Those things will die instantly. Let me see if he's still on here. Let 
I don't remember where he was. I think he killed it instantly, so. But you see all those little black specks around there? That could be like little nymphs of these things, and which are going to be even smaller than their adults. So don't expect even using a magnifying glass, you're going to get a perfect view of these things. You may not be able to see them at all, period. But if you see the damage, that's how you deal with them. All right, so anyway, I did my best to try to show you what they look like and show you that, yes, you can actually... Uh, get these things on camera and if you, you want to try to see them with a magnifying glass Give it a go and that way you can positively see what it is But hydrogen peroxide or neem oil will work either way It'll do wonders and uh, get it onto control before it actually gets out of hand Don't try removing the leaves that's not going to help you The leaf is only damaged on the surface of the plant You, you want to leave the leaf alone to spray it and they won't come back Neem oil is better because it once you spray it on it stays on for a while Whereas hydrogen peroxide pretty much just disappears So just keep that in mind Now hopefully I can get this on camera and show you, but this is going to be really, really hard. Because I have to zoom in and hold the right angle for you to see. Okay, now if you look at the vein of this leaf, if you're looking right there, which again, I can't see what you're seeing because this is, you know... I, I just cannot see it with all the reflections. But if you look at the main vein, look very closely at that main vein. Okay? You see all those little things up against that vein? Those are either spider mites or thrifts. Now, I thought this plant was suffering from a nutrient deficiency. And I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, let me check to see if there's any kind of organisms on here and sure enough it's it's infested with with either trips thrips or whatever you want to call them I don't know if you can see that very hard to hold this steady and zoom in it's either you look at that main vein look around those veins you can see those little things they're sucking the plant dry for nutrients those are thrips or spider mites or scales. I'm pretty sure they're, they're thrips, they, but they're round, so it's kind of leading me to, to believe that they're spider mites. Now, I just sprayed these. I, didn't, I should have recorded it before I did that, but this plant is getting infected, and I'm wondering why I'm losing flowers all over the place, and it's turning out that I have a spider mite thrip or scale problem in my greenhouse, and I didn't even know it. Because these creatures are so tiny. See here, I'm going to really bring in. I'm going to really bring in. Alright. Trying to get this so you can see it. Now look really closely. Again, I don't know what you can see here. I'm going to end up cutting a lot of this out because the glare isn't right. I need a microscope in order for me to film it. It's very hard to do by hand. But I could see it. You know, it, not all my plants are infected. Only a few of them are. This one here, the yellow panic, is infected with them. I don't know if you can see this. I'm not going to know what it looks like until I'm editing. But you can see them all up around that ridge by the main stem of the plant. Not every plant has it. Just certain plants got them on there. And they colonized.
Again, not every plant is showing these things on there. So I'm not seeing... Now, could they be aphids? I doubt it because of the size of them. They're so tiny. I mean, and this plant has been suffering for a while. I just thought it was a nutrient problem or something to that effect. No. No, it's only that one plant is showing it. This one might have it because you can see the leaves are all crinkly. That's damage from insect sucking insects. I'll have to look in more detail, but again, I just want to add this to the video and show you. So you're as close as I can get you. You see by those veins? That is what the problem is on this plant. Now those aren't not aphids. Those are, those are either spider mites, thrifts, or scales. And I think from what I can see on there, they're most likely spider mites. And they're all by the vein. They're not in the middle of the leaf. They're sucking the juice out of the main vein of the plant. And they're on every leaf of this particular plant. So this plant is completely infested with them. I'm going to have to treat it right now. But I wanted to show you, uh, you know, sometimes you think it's a, a deficiency. But with a magnifying glass, you can sometimes see that it's not. You know? And there may be more, but I can't possibly do every plant. I mean, this one's right here. I can actually see it and identify it. But I've been having a lot of flowers drop on here, and that might be due. This might be the reason why I'm getting flower drops, because these things are sucking the juice out of it almost overnight. And they're causing me to lose flowers. So it could be. I don't know. All right. That's all. I just thought I'd add that to the video.